everybody. Uh, I'm Frank Iero. Thank you so much to Premier Guitar for uh, for asking me to be part of their their hook series. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, songs and and an artist in general that not only I guess makes me play guitar the way I play, um, but also made me want to play guitar to begin with. <laughs> so uh, uh, the the artist I chose is uh, is Greg Ginn, a guitarist for Black Flag, and um, that song is Rise Above. I remember. Early on uh, in high school, you know, uh, you you hear about punk rock and you uh, you think you know all these you know different bands. You've seen the logos on different people's T-shirts and stuff like that. But growing up in Jersey, uh, very familiar with the Misfits. Um, heard the Misfits, I guess, from a very young age, and was always a fan. Uh, and I think later on, getting into high school is when people were like, "Yo, if you like the Misfits, then you you should listen to Black Flag." And, uh, and so a friend of mine started making me mis mixtapes and, um, and I remember the second Rise Above came on, it was like, holy shit, <laughs> like something different, something's going on here, something, something's being played in, in a different way, in a different uh, mindset. Um, it was just so off kilter and, and artistic and, and had a hook to it, but the way it was being played was just so uh, avant-garde and, um, and, uh, there were solos, but the, the solos were, um, more emotional and, and, uh, I mean, not based on the, the, the solo that, you know, I had heard on the radio, uh, in the, uh, the eighties and nineties yet. So, uh, you know, investigating more and listening to more and more Black Flag, it, there's, uh, certain things that, that Greg would do, um, and, and the way he would play, that uh, that just was such an allure to me, um, you know that that intro of of going from these and, and your your verse of that, which is kind of simplistic and poppy. You know, but uh, the way it's being played is with such aggression and and uh, and so much emotion that it, it's you know a hardcore punk at its finest. Um, I remember in the uh, early two thousands being on tour with uh, My Chemical Romance, and um, we had opened a show. We play, or I think we opened uh, playing at the Troubadour, and uh, and my buddy uh, Ed at the time was uh was looking through the paper and was like oh my god down the street greg is playing with his band and he's only doing black flag songs so i was like holy shit like <laughs> we packed up the guitars threw them in, in the van and, and he and i rushed out down to uh, a club called the dragonfly and uh and there weren't very many people there i mean it was me and my friend and maybe maybe eight to 12 other people. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the set was amazing. Uh, I got a little wasted. I was very, I was very excited to, to see Greg and, and to see these songs, uh, played in front of me by the person that, that, you know, that wrote them, uh, br bring them to life right in front of me, uh, you know, like this far away. And, uh, and after the set, I remember being so excited and, and having all these incredibly meaningful things that I wanted to, to say to him and, and how, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> I played guitar um, because I heard his playing and, and it made me feel free and it made me feel, uh, uh, I guess, you know, it gave me the confidence to, to go out there and, and to write my own things and to play the way I wanted to play and the way, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to be heard. And, uh, and I just, I, I unleashed on him this drunken yelling, <laughs> spiel and he uh he he started to back up little by little until he could run away from me <laughs> and so uh yeah i realized oh, maybe i shouldn't do that ever again um but it was a great experience and uh i'm very thankful that i had it uh probably more grateful than he he was <laughs> but uh yeah um so yeah black flag and and greg especially uh were uh pretty big uh influences on me uh, the way that that uh, you know the music was was relayed, and uh, it's uh, still to this day it holds up. I mean, uh, you can play 
every note uh, in those songs. Um, you can learn those songs note for note and, and practice and practice, but no matter what, uh, you're not gonna sound like Greg playing those songs. It's, it's very unique to him. And uh, I think that's what uh, was so incredible to me. Uh, this, this language that, uh, that came from not just his, his fingers and, and, and the guitar, but it came from his soul. And, uh, and I wanted that, I wanted to be a part of that. So uh, that is what got me hooked.